squeeze. Close. Time in. Just as a zero, zero. give you a little bit of reference there. First point, and we got an earning from Federico. One nice shot. Dropped a little bit too low after to Five, three. roll that ball to get that over the net. The paddles out there now. A lot of those shot types of shots are are possible with the amount of grit that these paddles have. Speaking of paddles, Six, all four of these men are playing with really powerful paddles. We have. <laughs> Three Yolas on the court and uh, and the Paddle Tech. And uh, those two brands are known to be the most powerful paddles in the market right now. Yes. Federico to serve. Oh, I think the wind took that one, didn't it, Pesa? Yeah. Great overhead slice. Yeah. From Hunter, Hunter come, comes from a high level tennis background, and yeah. Hunter's been doing very well in the PBAs recently, um, getting to at least semifinals and getting his first gold PBA in the Atlanta Open. See a lot of good stuff from Hunter Johnson. Six seven. tell right now but the wind is picking up so that wind might have taken that ball into the line and skip. Tyson to serve. Mm, just a little longer. Just out. Just out. 
Nine seven. Nine seven. Hold on a squeeze. Serving. Side out, point eight. You're doing a really good job on that right side. Eight nine. AJ Fuller. So Pesa, on a male's perspective, you're playing one of these two teams. What's the strategy behind this? I mean, they're both near level, high level players in pickleball. You're playing the squeeze. What's the strategy behind playing against Fetty and uh, Tyson? I think probably just like attacking them. <laughs> Just keep them. going for it. I mean, <laughs> Fetty can just, or maybe go more to Tyson on like dinks. Cause Fetty is really good at that cross goal pattern. Uh huh. Yeah, Federico is definitely a, known to be a strong left side player. Pop in the game. How about if you're playing Hunter and AJ? What's the pattern there? Um. Side out twenty eleven. Probably just. Flicking at Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hunter. <laughs> Give Hunter that little backhand flick. <laughs> yeah, use his flick. <laughs> I like it. Have you played any with against these guys? No, I personally have not played against these four guys. You don't want the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Orlando. Orlando Squeeze is up 13-11 on the switch. Federico to serve. Wow. Very powerful play right there. Good put away by Fed. Deep serve by Tyson. Unforced error. Wind is going behind Squeeze now, uh, so he'll be seeing a lot more shots, deep shots from the Squeeze, stronger shots with the wind behind them. Wow, good hands, Hunter. AJ Cole, sir. Good setup. Fortunately, not have that last shot close. Fifteen thirteen. Squeeze serving. 16 That oh. drops got lucky there. There was a short return by Hunter. 
16-16. High drop by AJ, which just a squeeze to capitalize. The wind is really picking up here. Yeah. I hear it through my microphone. <laughs> Now, playing in Florida has very interesting weather. <laughs> yeah. Very humid, windy, can rain at any Anytime. point. <laughs> <laughs> and then rain can stop at any point. Yeah, it can rain for like one minute and then gone. <laughs> That's right. 1917. Stop play. Oh. Service release. Service Too high? Stop play. 1917. Service release was a little bit too high. Oh, good eye by AJ Kohler. That is a veteran move right there. AJ Kohler is a veteran. Been playing the game for quite some time now. And shows in his game is really owning that left side. Wow. Again, another good read by AJ. Dialed. 1920. 2019. It's a close game, Pessa. Yeah. And we do have a freeze at 24, so. I think this could happen. Oh. Hunter slid over there, but couldn't close. Another unforced error by Hunter Johnson. And get back into the game here, We're very close. Like what you said, there's a freeze at 24, so the winning team will have to win on serve in order to win the game. Ready to serve. Nice deep serve. As you can see, I wonder if their strategy was dinking more into the middle and taking away those angles for the squeeze, um, waiting for that pop up and then capitalizing. Yes. We can probably see it in this next one. Oh, out. Ball was just wide. And just like that, we're back. We're tied at 23 all. Let's see this pattern. Are yeah. they? Yeah, they're going in the middle. middle. They're, oh, no. Unforced error by AJ Kohler. He does not look happy about that. 
24-23. Game Great. point for the squeeze. What a lead. Ball was a bit too low for Tyson. And we're tied again, 24 all. Oh, we see that pattern again. Middle dinks by the mad drops. Scorpion right there yeah. by Hunter Johnson. I think that pattern is really yeah. working, and right, Tessa? Yeah, it, yeah. Coming from the middle and they're trying to attack. Right, We're staying patient in the middle. I mean, both of these di these players, Tyson McGuffin and Federico, are really good at that kitchen line. So when you think in that middle there, it takes away the angles. And then they're staying patient with their counter and speed ups. Oh, no. And we have game. But yeah, they were the, up. the Mad Drops ended up taking game one. For the ladies, we have Vivian David and Megan Dizon on the Orlando Squeeze side versus Jade Kawamoto and Catherine Parento. We have Megan to serve. The wind is for sure picking up. Yeah, just um, as a reference, wind is going towards the LA Mad Drops. So we have the squeeze. You'll see their balls going a little bit deeper, a little bit faster. Mad Drops will really have to hit through this wind. Vivian David to serve. Really good deep serve there. Ooh. Good crash by Vivian David, but barely missed. Vivian's very good at crashing on the right. Yes. She is a seasoned right side player. And her two-handed backhand crashes is solid. Jade Kawamoto to serve. Oh, no communication there by the Mad Drops. A little bit of confusion. Scores three to two, squeezes up by one. Good serve by Megan. It's a bit harder to see on screen, but for those of you watching, Megan has a very strong serve. Um, yeah, he go, she goes for it. She really goes for her serves, it's, and it's it's very consistent. I've played against Megan, and um, she has a, a very good good serve. Shot by Megan Dazon. This is why I love women's doubles. Yes. A lot more speed ups. Gets a lot, lot more of stuff. hands. Yep. <laughs> Fast hands exchanges. Play is a bit more powerful compared to men's doubles. There's they're dinking a lot more than the women. Catherine Parento to serve. Catherine has the new Selkirk paddle. I don't believe it's out yet to the public, but I've heard it's a lot popular. Have you have you heard much about that new Selkirk paddle? Oh, it looks pretty sick. <laughs> That's right. Good design there. Yeah. I believe it's a, a 
it's pretty thin, maybe 10 millimeter paddle. It has to be. Good movement by Jade. Thought she was going to get that Ernie. But even just moving over there and creating that presence um, makes the squeeze second guess their shot. So I like the movement here. She did it again. And all of that is just gapping, uh, opening the middle by going wide on Megan. Right, I think Megan second guessed herself there if the ATP was was there or not. Good shot by the squeeze. Getting that ball down at their feet. Vivian David to serve. Eight or six eight or six seven. Eight six. Eight six. Eight. Uh, mad drop is up. No communication in the middle by the squeeze. I had two paddles going at that ball. Nine six. by Megan Dizan. We typically see Megan playing on the right side, but she's doing a great job here on the left. Forced error there. Now drops ten to eight. When they're up by two. Wow! Well, again, really deep serve by Megan. Finding Jackie on that right side. Ten, ten. We're tied ten to ten. Right Ooh, nice right shot by Catherine. Vivian popped it up. Fortunately, Jade was able to command that point. Yeah, 11 12. Orlando squeeze serving. Side out, point 13. The ball was just out. It brings up that win probability much higher for the mad drops.
Vivian was a bit off balance when she moved that dink over to Catherine's backhand, and Catherine was able to flick that in the middle. I think there needs to be a little bit more communication in the middle, the kitchen line, especially for the Orlando squeeze, getting caught there in the last few times. Wow, good hand exchange. Let's go women's doubles. Twelve fourteen is the score. And it drops her up. <laughs> and Catherine said sorry when uh, she hit the ball, thinking that she was going to hit Vivian. I'm surprised the Orlando squeeze is not going to uh, Chade. Catherine is playing super aggressive. She's flicking anything she gets. Oh, oh wow. Jeez. That's a good drop by Jade Kawamoto. Caught Megan at her feet. Catherine Parento to serve. And ball is just out. Orlando is taking a timeout. And we are back, MLP. Orlando took a timeout. And it was a good timeout. Nice shot by Vivian David. The squeeze got a bit more momentum. 14, a bit more pep in their step. And they're really working their way back. Oh, another missed dink by Megan on that backhand. Not sure if it's sliding a bit more over there, but every point matters here. Good overhead. Megan to serve 15-19. Nice serve by Megan. Ball made it on the line again. is really picking up right now. I know you can't tell, but oh, wow. Good movement by the Orlando squeeze. Yeah, there was a big gust of wind that, that took that ball towards the squeeze. Might have made Jade miss that ball. Of those two paddles going into the middle. Vivian David as a right side player is very active in that middle, so we might see a lot more of that. I wouldn't change that. Vivian has great success with, with that backhand. Oh no. Tried to change the redirect, redirect that. Missed it just wide. Catherine Parento to serve. Good resets by Jade. Sometimes when you're in that transition zone, it's just best to make sure that ball's going over the net. <laughs> and there's Vivian David again with that backhand. Super solid. Great put away shot. 
17-22. We have 17-22, Megan to serve. Megan owning that left side, really playing bigger in this after that timeout. See those fast hand exchanges and those resets. 1922. 1922. So as you can see here, the ladies are a little bit off the kitchen line, which is a bit different in men's doubles. Right, I feel like the men are really hugging that kitchen line, trying to reach in. Women tend to let that ball bounce, go off that line, just as you saw right there. From my game. Good drive by Vivian David. 21, 23. 21, 23. Orlando oh, That pattern has been working well for the Orlando squeeze. Little drive and crash. Um, Megan was on it, but we have our first game point for the LA Mad Drops. back for the squeeze. We have a two-point difference, 22-24. Vivian David to serve. Can they come back? Um, the confusion in that middle again. I think it's tough. So Megan is trying to own that left side responsibility, playing big in that middle, taking those forehands in. But Vivian, also super strong player on the right, so active with that backhand. Need to tighten up that that communication in the middle. Oop! Good grab there. <laughs> Defense by the Mad Drops. And, uh, oh, and the unforced error by Catherine Parento. That is tough. One point difference, 23-24. We got a game. Orlando squeeze down by one. 23-24, Megan is on to serve. Can we tie it up? Good defense. Oh, and then that confusion in the middle again. Game point number two for the LA Mad Drops. here at MLP Miami, presented by Margaritaville. My name is Marcella Hones, and I'm here with Pessa Teoni. And we have just saw an exciting men's and women's match. However, the LA Mad Drops won both of them on the men's and women's side. So they have 
a lead of two to zero. We're in game three right now. We have Federico Stackstrud and Vivian David versus Jade Kawamoto and Hunter John Johnson. Hunter was in the back of the line when he was hitting that one. <laughs> yeah. Vivian's defense is so good. Nice point there by the Orlando squeeze. Vivian David's known to be a really strong mix player. Played with Tom and Wilson, Thomas Wilson. Um, and Thomas is out. Um, and uh, was supposed to be playing on the LA Mad Drops, but AJ Kohler is taking his place. Good hands again by Vivian David. Squeeze are really looking to win this game here to keep them alive. Oh, three. Federico just missed that ATP. I think it was there. I think if he waited a half second longer, he could have pulled that around the hole. Stays in. And the put away by Fetty. Six. Six, three. Six three. Orlando serving. Good shot by Jade. Finding the feet of Fetty. Four six. just dribbles back off the net cord. Five, seven. on his left side, looking for that Ernie. The Mad Traps did not close that point. Good put away by Hunter. Again, you saw that Vivian was pretty much close to the ground trying to reset that ball. She's so good at getting super low. Six. We're at ten six. Ten six. that up. Hunter with the put away. It's very interesting to see the different point constructions from men's doubles versus women's doubles versus mixed. Uh, what do you think the big differences are between um, gender doubles versus mixed doubles, Pessa? Oh, good ATP by Vivian David. I feel like the men push so much in the middle. Right, like they get, they take most of the court big, yeah. mixed. Really hugging that middle, so. I think it also depends on your women, the female partner in mixed, right? A lot of the balls are going to the female. So, 
the female has a big responsibility blocking those drives, getting those balls back, resetting. So usually the females that have success in those areas tend to be the best uh, mixed players. And on the men's side, right, those drives, that offensive presence, the power behind their shots are, are very effective in mixed doubles. And it looks like we have a timeout. We're going to take a short break here. Enjoy these commercials. And uh, we have a switch here. Mad drops. Now serving. on the kitchen line from, all, from both teams. Everyone's playing a bit more offensive, especially up on that line. Oh, a little net love for the mad drops. Bob just made it in. Score is 12 to 13. One point difference. Wow. Good dig by Jade Kawamoto. And just like that, we are tied, 13 all. Side out point 14. Good take by Hunter. When you're playing mix, it's, I think it's really important that the male is really showing dominance, taking a, taking most of the balls. At least on the female side, I can speak to my, speak to this. Uh, it's, it, it does shake, <laughs> shake us up uh, when you see a. Um, Strong presence over there on the, the men's side. You might feel like you get hit by the ball. Where's your dominant woman? <laughs> and the guy can just sit on the line. <laughs> Do the opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are tied up 15 all. Oh. Oh, almost by Federico. I love how he was trying to take over, but found, him, found that ball right behind him. This wind is really yeah. picking up, Pessa. I know, my headphones about to fly off. <laughs> today, Pessa, right? Yeah, I think it's the biggest one I've seen uh, the whole week. I know you can't see on the other side, but it's pretty full. Point for Orlando, 17-16, Federico to serve. Enough. 
We have a close match here too. Yeah, same thing. Same goes to the men's and the women's from the beginning. Right. It was all 25, 24, really close. 1816. Welcome back. 1916. We are here. Orlando Squeeze versus the LA Madrops. Yeah. LA Madrops took a timeout, breaking the momentum of the squeeze. And it looks like it was a successful timeout. We have a two point difference in the game 17 to 19. LA Mad Traps are looking to win this game, hopefully to secure the match. Good defense, but just not enough. 2017. Vivian David to serve. And that ball just dipped down to Jade Kawamoto's feet. Tough shot by Fetty. Just like that, Orlando is up 22 to 17. showcasing his athleticism. Great shot by Hunter. Man, Hunter's drives are so elite. He's barely going over the net here. Oh no! Ernie was there, but ball just missed the net. Score is 23 to 18. I think these are the teams that need as much points to get into the playoffs. Oh, so they're fighting right. for the playoff spot. Yes. I think their mad drop is at ramp. the number eight right now, and Orlando Squeeze is nine. And I think they need just two points to get in this is from the mad drops. An important, um, important match for them, for the yes. Masters. We got a game point, match point. We have game point for the Orlando Squeeze. And an ATP to finish. We love to see it. Orlando Squeeze taking game three in their first mix match. Good job by games. Pesa, do you want to see a dream breaker? Uh, yes, actually. <laughs> Don't we always want to see a dream breaker? the best part about. Yeah, and we, these are all like really good singles players too. Yeah, <laughs> these guys all play singles. So it'll be going to be a close match if they get into it. That's right, good try by Catherine. Oh, oh second time. and Tyson <laughs> with the bag. <laughs> AJ laughing it off. Such a good sport. <laughs> Tyson McGuffin to serve, 3 to 1. Wow. The 
little oh. one there. Yeah, full one. Orlando squeeze serving. Love how AJ is making a big presence on the kitchen line here. We're going to see a lot of crab walking from him. <laughs> yeah, he's known for his uh, crab walking. That's right, when he moves laterally <laughs> in the kitchen line. Yeah, I never move back, <laughs> just sideways. <laughs> just side to side. <laughs> by the Orlando squeeze. Big serve by Megan. <laughs> and another, a little bit of net love there. Back on AJ again. Did AJ get back? Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Is that back number he three? He didn't catch. <laughs> it would be a... A jazz back again. Shout out from three. AJ Cole to serve three to seven. Jeez. Boy. Those are coming in hot. Ball was just out. Catherine Parento to serve four to seven. by Catherine. Wow. Oh. oh no, another bag. <laughs> An ATP bag. Yeah, why hit it in the court if you can just hit it to the body? <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of body bags. Eight four. But can we get to ten body bags in this game? <laughs> Actually wanted to. <laughs> Good put away by Tyson. Nine four. Nine four. Ball is just out. Ten four. Side out, point five. A few arrows in this Bringing us five, to ten. five, ten. Side out, point four. You have five. Big serve by Tyson. Just out. Six points for the mad drops. Wow, great counter by Catherine Parento. I love watching Catherine. Yeah. I think her defense is so good. One of the best, best female defenders in the game. How does it feel to play in a mix where you don't even know which ball you're hitting, <laughs> especially playing with the 
He's someone that plays very aggressive. Yeah. That must be very hard on a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it does seem easy, but it's, it's very hard. <laughs> to move away. <laughs> That's true. Right? Moving away from your partner and getting out of the way is a skill in itself. <laughs> And as female players, uh, oh, good read here at MLP Miami, presented by Margaritaville. We are in game four right now, watching a mixed doubles match. Orlando Squeeze is up against the mat drops. Orlando Squeeze needs to secure this, mat, this game in order to go into a dream breaker. Deep serve by Megan. And wow, Megan going behind AJ for another, another, second, another <laughs> time. <laughs> consecutive time. Unforced error by AJ. Tyson finding the back yet. with me, Jay. I feel like, like you like there. He's so far on the right, on the left, on the right side. I think Catherine too is pretty strong player too. There's a good balance, I feel like, and you, you could probably yes. talk more about this, but when is it, when do you know when to take more, and when do you know when to take less as a, as a When you know player? you're not playing good, <laughs> stay on your lane. <laughs> <laughs> right away. It's as simple as that. <laughs> you heard it from Pessa. But if you're doing good, go for, keep going for it. <laughs> player on the right playing mixed. Men love to move and hug that middle. Um, so as a female player on the right, it's good to mix up your dinks, not only going cross court, but also going down the line to move, move the, your male opponent around. A little net love for there. Mad Drops got that point. 
we're at 13.22. And the wind is picking up again. Big gusts of winds. It's much cooler today compared to the last three days. We felt a lot of humidity. Now it's overcast. It's cool. However, it's it's very windy. Super windy. AJ with the six speedo. <laughs> so good. Catherine was trying to find that opening on Tyson and just barely missed that net. Catherine, a flick from AJ. Enforced error by the Mad Drops, bringing us to our first game point for the Orlando Squeeze. Great game. Let's see if we can get some two points here from the from, from the mad drops. Sixteen twenty-four. We have a side out, another game point for Orlando Squeeze. Can they close it out? Megan is on to serve. First match up here, Federico versus Hunter. Oh, good first point there. Federico finding the opening. Both Hunter and Federico are both very strong singles players. So this is a good matchup. Okay, Serena. Big Let's slide flip. by Hunter, unfortunately. <laughs> he wasn't able to make a clean contact on that ball. 2-0. No what a way. get. Go, go, go. Yes. <laughs> Both men on the ground. On the ground. Yeah. The crowd is going wild. I want him to win that one after all those gets. <laughs> Fans are up on their feet cheering for both players. What a get by Hunter Johnson. <laughs> That's pretty insane. <insane. laughs> That's a good shot. Hunter ties it up. Oh, two, two to two? Yep. Yes, two to two. Two, two. We have AJ Kohler to serve for the Mad Drops versus Tyson McGuffin. Good eye by Tyson. Ball lands wide. A.J. Kohler, not known for his singles. Again, you only play four points here, so anything can happen. 
Tyson with the miss serve. There's one point for the mat drops. We are tied three to three. That's a good idea by AJ. Just didn't make it. Four three. Four three. Wow, big serve by Tyson. And a finish. In the Orlando squeeze, up by two. Five to three, we have Vivian David to serve. Five three. Catherine Parento, top two female and women's singles. A little bit of net love there. Much needed for the squeeze here. Did we catch the line? A little what? Ball is just a little bit wide. Five, six. Still a two point difference here. Squeeze able to pull out two points. We have Megan Dazon to serve against Jade Kawamoto. Orlando squeeze serving. Good, Good drive by Megan. Okay. Nine five. Oh, I like that combo though. She really pushed Jade out to that forehand side. Six, Trying to be sneaky with her pattern, but just missed the line. by the mad drops. I think it comes down to unforced errors. Each player is going to really have to work the point here. Can't give any free points away. She's getting wow. close. Oh. Oh, he got to the last two. 10-8. Two. Such a good ball from oh. AJ. AJ finding that back and getting that ball to dip down on Tyson's feet. Good work. 
I'm going to walk you there with the neck clip. Neck clip there. So the wind is going towards the mad drops. We're going to see a lot more power by the squeeze here. And Tyson gets three points in that exchange, bringing Orlando squeeze to 14 to 10. Vivian David to serve. Can Catherine. Unforced error by Catherine. I was going to ask, can Catherine get a 4-0 sweep? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't see it right now, but that wind really picked up, and Catherine is really trying to push that ball, and it's not going, going anywhere. You'll see a lot more. Uh, oh, and Vivian David with the passing shot. Can Viva get a four oh sweep? We'll see right here. So. Yeah. There it is. A commanded lead by the Orlando Squeeze. 18-10. Big shot by Megan. I mean, when you have the win behind you, you usually have more advantage in singles. Yes. Balls are a lot more powerful. Your serve will most likely go much deeper. See those returns there from the mad drops. It's really hard to push through it. Twenty to ten. Orlando squeezes up by ten points. Short return by Kawamoto. Oh, good ball movement by Jade. I think we'll need to see a lot more hybrid rolls, getting that ball into the kitchen for the mad drops, because it's going to be hard to drive that ball through this wind. Ooh. All right. I'm feeling some uh, crazy points coming. <laughs> That's right. We've had some good exchanges between Hunter and Fed. That ball just lands out wide. Score is 20 to 12. Big serve by Fed. Oh, and that's a really good placement by Hunter Johnson. 13, 20. Oh, there's another shot by Hunter. Crossed by a little cut serve. 14, 20. Sometimes it's, it's good to change up the pace of your serve, right? Just going big isn't always the yep. best choice to make. Um, changing it up, you see oftentimes players like giving a lob serve. That cut serve that Hunter was just giving another look to Ben. Great shot by AJ Kohler. Don't count out the mad drops just yet. They are coming back. 16 to 20. Drips down to Tyson's feet. And we have a three point difference 17 to 20. Oh, I like it. See, you can hold it. Oh, that went. First error by Tyson McGuffin. AJ was able to get three points, giving the, the mad drops um, a two point difference here. Oh no! I like the idea. Catherine 
trying to be cute and dropping that ball right into the kitchen, just barely misses it. I think that wind again just took that ball right back. And there goes the match. Orlando squeeze with the wind. 21 to 18. Thanks for tuning in with us. We have another match coming up. So stay here, give us about a few minutes, enjoy the commercials, and we will be right back.